Welcome back. In this tutorial we're going to be discussing competencies numbers 1 and 2. We're combining them because they're so closely related to each other. Competencies 1 and 2 are very closely related so we're going to do them together. I'll read them. The number one, using physical examples or photographs or diagrams of coaxial cable and parallel transmission lines provided to the candidate, this is what you have to do, identify correctly three types of transmission line as coaxial or parallel line. We're not interested in whether it's RG8, RG58 or anything like that. And number two, identify balanced and unbalanced transmission line. Using physical examples or photographs or diagrams of common coaxial and parallel transmission lines provided to the candidate, at least one type of transmission line must be balanced and the other unbalanced. And the candidate is required to identify transmission lines as either unbalanced or balanced. So there's two tasks and here we've got a diagram that you're a, something similar to what your assessor could show you. And what you're being asked in these two competencies is simply to identify what sort of cables these are. Are they coaxial cables or parallel lines? And are they unbalanced or balanced? What I'm going to do is just move this to one side so I can type here. And all of the top cables, all of the top ones are coaxial cables. So the top three are coaxial cables. I'm sure you know that. You don't have to know whether it's RG58, RG59. They're just the top three are coaxial cables. And all coaxial cables are unbalanced. Now there's only one other cable there and that's the bottom one. And that's a parallel transmission line because the two wires are parallel to each other. That's why it's called parallel transmission line. In coaxial cable, the braid is earthed and the center conductor is in the middle. That's not balanced. They're not balanced transmission lines. But this is a balanced transmission line. So that's parallel line. And it is balanced. And that's all you have to do to answer competencies 1 and 2. If you go on and give additional information, you run the risk of saying something wrong and being graded in, uh, as not yet competent. So all you need to do for competencies 1 and 2 is identify a coaxial cable as a coaxial cable, identify a parallel line as a parallel line, and know that coaxial cables are unbalanced lines and parallel lines are balanced lines, and you'll have no problem with one and two.